Of the themes and episodes that we discussed in class, the parables of Jesus, also known as the fiction of Jesus, are what I found to be the most thought-provoking. I will discuss the themes found in the parables discussed in class, the rules of thumb of Jesus' fiction, which rule of thumb I found to be the most influential, and how the themes in the parables can be applied to the problems and issues that our society is facing today. The parables discussed in class reveal themes of mercy, humility, rebellion, repentance, salvation, exaltation, and knowledge. Of Jesus' parables, the themes on salvation and exaltation were the most compelling to me. The parable of the rich man and Lazarus defines salvation. In this parable, the rich man is left in death being tormented, while Lazarus, the servant covered in sores, was found sitting next to Abraham. The statement Abraham makes to the rich man, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received good things, while Lazarus received bad things, but now he is comforted here, and you are in agony, was the most moving statement because Lazarus was delivered from his painful life on earth, and the rich man was left in torment. The rich man's pity and selfishness were still prevalent even after death, when he was concerned with notifying his brothers of what was to come if they continued to behave as if they were not under the observation of God. The parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector defines exaltation. In this parable, the Pharisee is concerned with stating what he is not before God, that he is proud that he is not like the tax collector standing next to him, that he fasts twice a week and gives a tenth of all he gets, thinking that relieves him of following the covenant. Matthew 23, 23 states, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisee hypocrites! For you teeth mint and dill and cumin, and you have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faithfulness. These you ought to have done without neglecting the others. The tax collector approaches God honestly, states that he is a sinner, and is exalted. The rules of thumb of Jesus' fiction expresses four main points when reading the parables of Jesus. The first states the importance of context, and within the parables, Jesus speaks regarding the history and social situations of Israel. The second states how the parables were required to be consistent with Jesus' teachings elsewhere when speaking upon topics of forgiveness, relationships, the economic state of the nation, and the ways of prioritizing their faith. Third expresses the frequency of celebration within the parables and how this motif is used to articulate the inauguration within the kingdom of God and the importance this held with the celebration of knowledge gained by the characters described. Lastly, Jesus' teachings were meant to comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable through fulfillment of the spoken word. The rule of thumb that I found to be the most influential was the last rule, comforting the afflicted and afflicting the comfortable. Jesus' parables were built around challenging the mind, drawing those sitting in the highest chairs to analyze their actions, while providing those suffering with narratives to support their conduct when obedient to the Lord. The above themes that I have identified can be applied to the problems and issues that our society is facing today because people are lacking mercy and humility while seeking repentance, deliverance, exaltation, and knowledge. The rebellion that our society is provoking is enabling more destruction, leading people further away from Christ. Using the teachings of the parables, people could gain a better understanding of what it means to treat your neighbor as you would yourself, how to fear the Lord, how to abandon arrogance and turn from evil, while seeking salvation and exaltation by using correct knowledge to celebrate in the light of Jesus.